Hello Minions, Wheezy here, and today we're going to talk about the easiest way to get wonder weapons in Outbreak. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so the too long did not watch for this video is we're going to be focusing on trials in Outbreak and we're going to break down exactly what you need to do, what I have found so far the most efficient ways to get a wonder weapon using trials and why I think it's the easiest way to get them. Um, but briefly let's go ahead and talk about what other ways are to get wonder weapons in Outbreak. Um, there is a mystery box on the map that you can go and spend money in and I think it's I think it's like it is in previous games less than a thousand dollars but right up near a thousand dollars for a random weapon which could be a wonder weapon but this is expensive and unreliable um, another way you can potentially get wonder weapon drops is from the exotic loot chests essentially so like the ones you would get from the golden chest uh, or from killing uh, mini bosses from some of the objectives although that's only because I've read that. I've, I've completed quite a few of those and I've never seen a Wonder Weapon drop from that. Uh, but moving on to Trials, once I learned about this and started doing it, you will get a Wonder Weapon if you stick with the process. So um, the first thing that you want to do uh, is find the reward station on the map. Now, this is... The earlier you do this, the better, especially if your plan is to make sure that you get a legendary reward first, um, because any time you spend killing zombies is potentially uh, wasted, because if you start a trial first, some of the kills you might get could contribute towards actually unlocking a legendary reward, which could potentially be a wonder weapon. So when you find this reward station on the map, uh, you pay $500 on the early levels. It goes up in later levels. Um, so like on level 3, I believe it's $1,000. Um, but on the first level, and I think the second level, it is only $5, $500 to start a trial. And the rewards that you get from completing the trials are more than worth it. So the process for getting Wonder Weapons from trials is actually very simple. You go to the trial station, you purchase a trial, you do your best to complete that trial, uh, and as you're completing elements in the trial, it will rank up your reward from common to rare to epic to legendary, and legendary is what you want because that is the one that gives you the ability to get a wonder weapon. Um, but it does not guarantee that you will get a wonder weapon every single time. So then what you will do if you don't get a wonder weapon is select another trial, lather, rinse, and repeat until you get the wonder weapon from the reward station. So uh, let's go and uh, break down some of the trials that you will be asked to do and uh, maybe give you some tips on how you can complete those more efficiently. So you may have already noticed that the one that you've seen so far in this video is to take damage and recover health. Uh, this one actually can you can grind for it pretty easily if you just kite a couple of zombies around, uh, let them hit you, and keep in mind how much damage they do so that you don't obviously get knocked down. Um, you could do this by just kind of like playing in the map and doing missions as well, but I find this a lot easier since it risks you actually dying to just kite one or two zombies around. Um, in the higher levels you'll just want one zombie doing it because they do 50 damage uh, per punch. Um, but essentially just let them hit you until you get, you know, one or two hits from death let your health regenerate and then rinse and repeat and until it ranks up now with this one um and it's important to keep in mind for some of these well for all of the trials uh if you complete the trial you get a legendary reward during the timer still counting down you can actually immediately leave go and turn in your reward get your legendary reward and while that timer still clicking you can continue to do that reward so on ones where it's like taking damage to recover health, getting close range kills, getting hip fire kills. If you get a legendary reward before the trial is finished, make sure you go turn it in immediately and then continue doing that trial so that you can start working towards your next reward. It saves a lot of time, especially when you can't necessarily guarantee that the uh, trials you're gonna get are gonna be the ones that you want to accomplish easily. 
All right, the next trial we're going to talk about is killing enemies within close range. And while we're talking about this one, we're also going to point out a couple of uh, tips that are useful when completing trials. Um, one, for, for a trial like this, uh, killing zombies within close range, uh, certain world events like this uh, dragon event can uh, be good for both completing a world event that gives you an extra bonus and extra rewards while also completing a trial. And it helps you uh, guarantee that you're getting more action with the zombies than you do just randomly wandering around and killing hordes of uh, four or five zombies that are just scattered around the map. So you have the option to go to an event that you know will bring you uh, zombies within close range. Um, the dragon event obviously is a great example of one, um, but most of them will send waves of zombies at you, um, including objectives you can, you can run while doing a trial. Um, but this will allow you to complete it while also gaining additional rewards, which just kind of speeds up the whole process and makes it more efficient. One thing to note, uh, while running trials, if you're curious whether or not what you're doing actually counts towards the trial, um, notice that the trial box, every time you do something that qualifies uh, as contributing towards the trial, the box will actually glow red each time that you have taken an action uh, that is contributing towards the overall trial goal. So, uh, something to keep in mind. Another thing that is good to note about killing enemies within close range is that running zombies over with vehicles does count towards this challenge, which you can see by the box glowing red whenever you run over zombies. So, keep that in mind as well. That can make it easy to uh, do this faster if you don't have a world event and you want to just cruise around the map running over zombies. And while we're on the topic, there is actually a trial for killing zombies with vehicles. And this one, there's nothing special to it. Find a vehicle, um, whether it's a Jeep or a car or a snowmobile, and just start driving around, running over zombies. It says zombies, but it also includes hellhounds or even bosses. So any enemy that you kill with a vehicle counts as killing zombies with vehicles. Again, as evidenced by the glowing red box on the screen every time you work towards the objective. All right, the next trial we're going to discuss is getting critical kills. Uh, this is basically just headshots. Um, there aren't really many enemies in the game that have a critical kill that isn't simply a headshot. So um, this is probably best done with uh, an assault rifle or an SMG. Um, obviously, snipers would probably be a little bit slow, although they're accurate. Um, but you can do it with a shotgun, as you're seeing here, just by uh, aiming slightly above the head so that most of your pellets will hit the head. Um, a little bit more difficult with a shotgun, but uh, still very doable. And the next one we're going to talk about is hip fire. This one is extremely straightforward uh, and can be done with any weapon. Uh, the shotgun is actually the easiest for this because I pretty much always use hip fire with the shotgun. Um, but again, can be done with any weapon. I wouldn't recommend doing it with the sniper rifle. Uh, I've had that come up before, and you just have to basically get absolutely point-blank range to no scope reliably because even at two feet away a sniper rifle will shoot sideways so um, yeah for hip fire just get up close to zombies and uh, and kill them with hip fire the next one is killing zombies that are unaware of any player's presence this one is actually a little bit trickier um, but still pretty obvious and straightforward you essentially have to kill zombies that haven't spotted you yet which is most easily done with a sniper rifle. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do this with a shotgun. You might be able to do it with an assault rifle, although it would probably be very irritating because you really kind of need a one-hit kill weapon um, because, again, after you're spotted, then it no longer counts. Keep an eye on the trial box again to see. It glows red when what you're doing counts, and it doesn't when it doesn't. So you, uh, even if there's a group of three or four zombies together, after you kill one or two, the others are going to notice that you're there. So uh, this trial is a little bit more tedious, a little bit more difficult, but uh, grab yourself a long-range weapon, preferably a sniper, and just try and pick zombies off from a long ways away that don't know that you're there. So this next one can actually be quite irritating, mainly because it can be very expensive, uh, which is to stay in the air with the parachute as long as possible. Uh, now the reason I say expensive is because you can on, on maps find places that are high up where you can use a parachute without using the launch pads, but that doesn't give you very much airtime at all, uh, you'll find. And uh, Alpine, there's a couple of spots where you can kind of parachute down the slope that would be okay. 
Um, but in general, you're going to more easily get a lot of airtime by using the launch pads. Downside being the launch pads cost money. Uh, I don't know if it goes up in higher levels, but they're at least $500 per use. Um, so that does eat into your overall money profits. But again, for the trials, we're trying to just get the uh, legendary rewards so that we can get the wonder weapons. Okay, the next one is to kill enemies from a higher elevation, which is exactly what it sounds like. You just have to be shooting down at enemies. Um, it doesn't have to be dramatically down. Like, it can, you can be on top of a structure or building shooting down, um, but you can also just be up on the top of a hill or even slightly above the enemy in order for these to count. So, once again, as always, keep an eye on that uh, trial on the side and uh, the trial box and when it, make sure that it's lighting up red to show that you're making progress. So this next one is actually my favorite. I don't know why, but it's just a lot of fun. It is to destroy doors or mantle through glass. And uh, basically what this is gonna be is mantling through glass. What you wanna do is find a location uh, either with a large building or like these couple of areas that have a lot of small buildings where you can essentially just find as many windows as possible and just go leaping through them. This one on uh, on the jungle map uh, is, is probably the best just because you can run up and down through these cabins just leaping through the windows to get this um now when it says destroy doors the only way that i'm aware of to do this um is with explosives so if you have a simtex or a c4 you can use it to blow up a door and that will count towards this but just uh busting doors open doesn't work and shooting them doesn't work i guess if you had a launcher that would probably work uh just fine but um yeah, for the doors, not as useful. You're just going to need to be jumping through a bunch of glass. And the last trial that we're going to cover today, although, again, this is not an exhaustive list, um, and I'll mention at least one more uh, after this. Um, it, this one is going to be to kill zombies while crouched, which is, again, as straightforward as it sounds. You simply make sure that you're crouching when you shoot zombies. So um, this is a, a relatively straightforward one. Um, there are, uh, there's at least one more I can think of that I've encountered that I just do not like, and it is to uh, kill zombies with special uh, or elite AI, which would be guys like this uh, marauder, like um, the special and elite enemies. The problem with that trial is such a pain in the ass because there's not a lot of reliable places to find special or elite enemies. Um, if you've been running around these maps a little bit, you will know that there are some places you can go to to get them. And if you have events where they're likely to spawn, like perhaps one of the uh, the mini-boss events, those spawn several specials and usually at least one elite. Um, so that would be an option, but in general I'm not a big fan of that one just because sometimes uh, some of these objectives can almost feel like a waste. Like, for instance, if you get the uh, kill unaware zombies, um, with a when you don't have a sniper rifle that can be a pain in the butt um, there's another one i guess that i didn't include on here that i know of that is to kill z zombies from a long ways away and that again you will need a sniper rifle or at least an assault rifle uh, to do that one although a sniper would be ideal so um that one's not too hard to do you just have to obviously snipe zombies from a great distance but um the point isn't to give you an exhaustive list of trials, but just the ones that you'll run into probably, at least in my experience, uh, most commonly. Uh, just the tips and tricks that I've found on, on how to complete them uh, as effectively as possible. So um, again, the, the, the idea here is to get your trials, complete them as efficiently as possible, and then wait until you get the legendary reward available and then go turn them in. Okay, and the last thing that I want to talk about today is actually intel. As you're doing uh, these trials, you will every once in a while get one that provides you with intel. Um, I learned this the hard way, but one thing to note is when the intel reward pops up, it will cover up the banner that shows your available reward. Um, so hopefully you have an idea where that is. But let's say you're at common or rare, and then you get the intel reward. When you go back to the reward station, the reward station can be lit up for the reward you would pick up, um, and it might only be a rare or epic. And if you pick that up, it will still clear your reward, but it'll still say Intel available. Now to 
to clear the intel, you have to go to the console where you bought the trial and activate it, and then you get to read a message on the screen and collect a, an intel piece. Um, and then that banner will clear away from showing what your actual available reward is. So you can either turn in your legendary if you've got it, or you can continue doing that trial to try and upgrade to get an actual legendary. So um, I made this mistake once, uh, and then I figured it out in the next try where um, don't go turning in your rewards just because it says intel available. That is not, um, that is not the final reward level for that trial. All right, minions, so hopefully you found that helpful, and now you know how to go into Outbreak and get uh, Wonder Weapons. This can be more difficult to do with randoms than if you do it solo, but now you know either way. So uh, if you got a lot of value from this and you're going to try it out, go ahead and why don't you leave me a like. Uh, if you thought that uh, this wasn't very helpful to you, then go ahead and leave me a dislike, even though it makes me cry at night. But <laughs> if you're not a minion, subscribe to become one. And uh, hopefully I'll be bringing more, well not hopefully, definitely be bringing you more good videos like this. And uh, if you guys want to play zombies, check out the Discord link below. Come hit me up. Let's go have some fun, shoot some zombies in the face, and get some more weapons. Alright, talk to you later. Bye y'all. Good hunting. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.